The Blandian Vulgar is one of the two options we have when we decide to upgrade the Billman. Wait, two options? What's the other one? No! God, please, no! No! <clears throat> the Vulgar is the only option we have when we decide to upgrade the Billman. As the only worth to mention shock troops of Blandia, the role of these guys is to kick the low tiers to the ground and act as anti cav while doing so. The most iconic piece of equipment of the Vulgar is their one handed weapon, because it has absolutely no reason to exist. For real, though, the most iconic piece of equipment of the Vulgar is the Vulge. A mighty swingable polearm that brings 76 speed, 188 damage, and a reasonable length of 143. The Vulge is not only the shortest polearm out of the three polearm wielding shock troops, but it's also the most reliable at hitting. With a base damage of 188, on paper it's enough to one shot. Unfortunately, we are on 1.8 and the troops are incapable of using any long weapons. The speed is a bit slow, but no abysmal for a two-handed weapon that carries that much damage. Despite the weapon being good, the armor of this unit can be further from the opposite. With an head armor value of 38, Point three, it ranks as the worst tier 5 unit in the category and 23rd overall. This value is brought by three different helmets the Picked Helmet over Male Coif, the Picked Helmet over Lace Coif, and the, you guessed it, the Picked Helmet over Padded Cloth. How couldn't you know that? It's so popular and fashionable among units these days? Come on. Thankfully, when it comes to the body armor, the Vulgar brings the same two pieces that combine for a value of 36. This will rank the unit in 5th place and 25th overall. The pieces in question are the cherry stained white tabard over male hauberk and the fashionable scarf. When it comes to the head plus body, the Vulgar's rank tied at last with a value of 74. The other troops is a tier 4, so they are the worst tier 5, but they will gain two positions to number 4 when considering all armor types. The last thing we have to talk about is a sale of Francesca's. Three axes are never amazing, but they are something. And for a faction like Blandia that has no throwables, it's unfortunately not very synergic. Don't expect to find much value out of these ones. Now that all of the equipment is covered, let's talk about the stats. The Bourgeois rank 5th among shock troops, with a total KD of 2.64 and a KD versus low tiers of 14.2. The Bourgeois ended up losing 1111 units out of 3500 or roughly 31.74% and ended up with a casualty chance versus low tiers of 15.28%. Also, they ended the careers of 2932 custom battle soldiers. With all of these out of the way, let's list the pros and cons. This unit has some terrible armor, like most of the Blandian units. The weapon is good on paper, but it can carry such a poor armor set, and like the veteran Falksman, it suffers from the 1.8 AI that doesn't allow the troops to keep enough space between them and the enemy, ending up in a law of box strikes. They are a versatile unit, but no amazing. The number of projectiles is not enough to have a real impact, and they have a one hand sword that they will never use. The list is quite short for these guys, but I don't think there is much else to add. My final score is a 0.5 out of 5, and like the sergeants, there is little reason to use them in 1.8. If you're playing on previous patches, these guys are easily a 3 out of 5 at least. Let me know what you guys think and what troop and faction you want me to cover next. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.